Good morning, everybody. Time changed over the weekend and it sucks that it gets dark so early, but I'm working so late right now. I was getting home in the dark anyways. So I'm actually happy that I can do some morning chores in the light because before it was like dark and dark. So I guess I'm gonna look at the positive that it gets brighter, a little lighter. All my ladies making noise. These, these four are so talkative. Welcome back to my channel. It's day 12 of corn harvest. If you don't know who I am, I'm Tara. I'm a farmer from Northern California. We are currently in corn harvest. I think tomorrow is going to be our last day. So the corn harvest series is almost over. Got it. I got it. it. And no details. And no picture of the leaning corn. <laughs> I already have. We just finished harvesting our yield plot that we do um, for a contest. And it's in the truck getting ready to go to the elevators to weigh it. And the power goes out. So we're going to go sit at the elevators and <laughs> wait for the power to come back on. Oh, figures this would happen today. I've been off YouTube the last couple days, at least video wise. I think our last day we harvested was Thursday and today's Monday. So we got a little break. We had to clean the harvester. There was plenty of work to do still. And then Saturday night after work, me and my mom drove about two and a half hours to go visit my sister. So we spent the day with my sister on Sunday and came home late Sunday night. That was so nice. It was a you know, nice little break from the farm, which normally does not happen, especially during harvest, and some good mom and sister time. I think there is a good chance, no, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure we will finish corn harvest tomorrow. Woo, we're so close. The corn in this field looks really rough, it's like, at a 45 degree angle, but it's not flat. So we can pick it up. We're gonna get it out. It's just gonna be slow going. If you have been watching the Corn Harvest series, I just wanna say thank you so much. And remember to give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. It means so much to me. I've been asked this same question multiple times and I guess I have not addressed it. I definitely have not addressed it in the corn harvest series. Maybe in my past videos, maybe my origin story, I'd have to go back and look. But a lot of you have asked me how I came up with the name for Beaver Vineyards. My maiden name is Beaver. <laughs> so it is not uh, creative or named after something other than myself. So my maiden name is Beaver, and that is why it's called Beaver Vineyards. Glad I got that out of the way. <laughs> I guess I should put that in my about because I've been asked a lot. How did you come up with the name? Day 12. We really dragged this one out. I came snack prepared today. Picked up some almonds and fruit at the grocery store but they didn't have apple. So almonds and blueberry, which is good, but that apple one, that's the one. Still waiting for Ryan, the California farmer. Send me more. Not gonna lie, I'm a little worried about, you know, what I'm gonna be doing on the channel after corn harvest is done. I'm worried, but at the same time, I know there is plenty to talk about. We have a lot going on this week. Today's Monday. Tuesday we'll be harvesting corn our last day. Wednesday we're planting alfalfa. Thursday I'll be driving a tractor covering the alfalfa. Friday I'll probably still be covering alfalfa but we have a job I need to survey for. 
have to find time to interview my dad. We had someone come this morning, a couple people that made comments about my YouTube channel to my dad and how good it is. So if you know my dad, just keep telling him how great this channel is and that he needs to be on it because it's working, it's working. Baby steps. Yeah, that corn's leaning a little. Just a little. Look at all that corn. For how beat up this field is, I think it's gonna have a pretty good yield. saw a lot of corn coming out the back and he stopped. He said he thinks something might have broke. So he thinks something. Like here in front of me, I don't see, I see a little but not a lot. We are heading back to the truck to see what's going on. He said his concave is all the way open and uh, he couldn't get it to go up or down or whatever direction it's supposed to go because I don't know but I'm gonna find out anyways he said something's wrong he doesn't think something's working hopefully it just happened um, but we're gonna go back to the truck and see so there's a little thing out there you can't really see it but the concave is almost on 10 and my dad said it should be on 6 and when this is the button you push and nothing's happening so He's not exactly sure what happened. So we got that concave fixed. And what it is, is there's like, um, there's this piece that he hits up and down and he pushed it so far down that it like came out. It, it was an easy fix once he figured out what it was. Um, but anyways, now I'm sitting at the grain elevators. They got really backed up because the power went out. And now I'm sitting here waiting to weigh our truck for our plot yield contest. <sighs> Probably not gonna be in the tractor very much today. Today might be a really short video. There will be a video <laughs> because I said there would be, but today might be a short one with no content <laughs> but yeah just waiting 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 power's been going out a lot lately I didn't bring my lunch pail with me <sighs> it's in my tractor okay they finally weighed the truck loaded now they have to go unload the truck and then they have to weigh the truck empty so that way we know how much corn was in there it's three o'clock and we started this at 9 a.m so yeah i finally have all the papers we need signed dated done back out to the tractor see if there's anything left for me to even do almost finished that's all he's got Couple passes. Oh, it's a bummer. Oh, I got yogurt to eat while you drive. Ed was so. Oh, I got a too. Ed was so nice. He called me yesterday and said they were spraying something. You weren't gonna be able to eat the persimmon for a few days. He said. Which to me, it's like, well, can't you just clean it off? But he said I wouldn't be able to eat the persimmons for like five days or something because of whatever they're spraying today. And I told them, oh, I've been picking a couple every morning to take with me to work, but I'm out of town. So I won't be able to pick any. Anyways, when I got home last night, there was a box in front of the gate with all these persimmons in them. So I don't know if Debbie's there or if he picked them for me or what. I thought that was nice. Oh, yeah, 
uh, this in the Old Testament. explained it to him that it's more important for us to have a truck behind the grapes but it, he made it sound like it was going to be fine and he thought there'd be a truck here on four right well i still think i'd put it over there well we need a truck here don't we or do we do not want one here Finally dumping some grain. <laughs> oh. Today has been the longest day and I just sat and did nothing. Just waited. Now, unfortunately, we're a little short on trucks. So we have one more plot we have to harvest tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to take a truck over there and we're not going to be able to finish. <laughs> we're going to be like one pass short because the trucks are full and I won't overfill a truck. That's a wrap on day 12. Unfortunately, we left eight rows standing in that field. Our bank out is full, the harvest is full, and we're not getting any more trucks tonight. So... It's not the it's not the grain elevator's fault. The power going out really screwed them up and got them all back, backed up. But tomorrow should still be our last day of corn harvest. 
I hope you guys have a great evening. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's all that's left in this field. Eight rows.